What's up, YouTube? We are here. We're going to hook you up with today's dish. It's called barbacoa. And it's a traditional Mexican dish. And yes, I am following a recipe because I got this recipe from my mom. So I'm giving you a taste of, you know, what I grew up with. And we're going to start. We got some chilies here. California chilies. California chilies. We got some tomatillos, onion, garlic, cilantro, tomatoes. Got some cumin, some cloves. Oregano. And oregano and some bailey. So all this stuff is gonna be going in and we'll take you step by step, show you how it goes. All right, so one of the steps, you gotta take your California chilies and you just press them down. You wanna toast the outside, you don't want it to burn. So you just take it and you press it down. You can do this in a cast iron skillet or your regular skillet. But me, you know, being Hispanic, I do have a tortilla warmer, and that's what I do use. So you're just basically warming them up so you can split them. Yep. To take the seeds out. Toast it. You just take it. You cut off the tops, and you slice the chilies, and you want to get the seeds out. You don't want to leave too many seeds in it. And you just literally take it, shake it out. And as you can see, they come right off. You're not gonna struggle in at, at all. If you leave some of them in there, it ain't gonna hurt nothing. Make it a little spicier? Yeah, that's all that is. And it's not really spicy to begin with. So even though we're gonna put a bunch of chilies in there, trust me, it's just for flavor. It ain't gonna burn you up or nothing. Okay, all right, so the next step, what we're gonna go into, we're gonna Go ahead and start making the salsa that's gonna be on it. So you just literally, you take the leaf off of it that covers it and you throw the whole thing into the pot. And we're gonna do the same to each one of these. And these are what? These are tomatillos. It's like a tart tomato. And this is just gonna be a base for the salsa that goes onto the barbacoa. So on the tomatoes, you just want to get that end off of it and just literally throw it all inside. Next step is your onion. You're going to take and you're going to cut off, at least I always do, cut off both ends. And you always want to take that outer shell off. Literally, it's almost like a piece of paper on it. And what you want to do, you want to take, for the salsa, you want to take at least half of it. And throw it in the pot. Save the rest for later. We're going to use it some more. Cilantro, you just want to take a little bit off of the head. Save the head, you're still going to use it. And throw it into the pot as well. This is all going to boil down all your peppers that you just toasted on the outside, they all go into the pot. And this is what's gonna create that salsa for you. Leave that nice color to it. And if you saw a couple of seeds went in there, it's not gonna hurt nothing. So you take your garlic, break it down. And for the amount of meat that we're doing, you're gonna see me add a lot of it. Really, it's just for the amount of meat. Shelly's gonna write down the recipe for you guys on how much exactly is gonna go in per pound. So depending on how much you actually make, that'll be the recipe for you guys. Since we're going to can what we don't use, so we can have it for later, yep. we're making a big bunch. Yeah, we're making about, a 11, batch. about 11 pounds of it, so. It's gonna look like a lot of garlic in there, but it's really not. All this garlic, this is why we, we grow garlic. Yep. Not only that, garlic is good for you, good for, good for your immune system, good for your heart. Makes your breast stink, but it's good for you. So 
as you all know, Hispanics never tell you exactly how to measure it out. So I'm pretty much guessing at this. And for the amount that we're making, I'm adding about a tablespoon uh, of, uh, this is the, co the cumin. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of the oregano. And you gotta take this in consideration. When they tell you measurements, it's a pinch of this, a pinch of that. So I'm trying to make it so that you can all enjoy it just like I do. And same thing with cloves. I'm just gonna take a little handful of that. All right, so all the ingredients are now sitting in the pot. And as you can see, I'm not really giving it a whole lot of water to where it all floats. It's just barely covering all the ingredients. And that's where you want it to do. You gotta remember the tomatoes are gonna release juice. Tomatillos are gonna release juice. And you want the salsa to be mainly your vegetables. You don't really want it to be water. So all we're gonna do now, we're gonna bring this to a boil. Once it's done boiling, we're gonna let it cool. All right, so we're gonna start prepping this while that boils. And this is chuck roast. And what you wanna do, you wanna cut it down to little pieces. Doesn't have to be super small, but enough to where it, it comes down to like a bite-sized piece. So that when you're eating it, it's almost like a beef stew. So it's really small pieces. And I'm gonna do that to all the meat. And we're, we're making a lot, as you can tell. And I'm just gonna set it aside and let it wait. All right, so next step, we're gonna chop up some more onion. Shelly says it's like a condiment to it. I just call it an add-on to it for the end of the, when everything's already cooked and done. And you just wanna chop it up into small little pieces. And yes, this is raw. You're not gonna cook it, nothing like that. It's just gonna be raw. And chop it up good small sizes and put in it. cilantro all you do you get it nice and tight and you just start chopping it up as fine as you can all right it's all fine chopped up you just get it and throw it in with your onions up throw it in the fridge until we're ready for it yep. so now as you can see it's a running boil everything all the vegetables in there are soft the tomatillos are falling apart so all you want to do now that that's all happened you just want to let it sit and cool so we boiled it for what about it was about it well it came to a rolling boil and then we left it on for about 10 15 minutes okay yeah you want to make sure everything gets soft you don't want nothing hard in there you want everything to be falling apart all right so what we're going to do now we're going to take all the vegetables out and start throwing all this stuff in the blender as you can tell everything's soft practically falling apart out it comes out like liquid you don't want a lot of pulp in it or big blotches in it as you can see it's just coming out just like liquid and you're gonna do this to everything inside that pot right, so now into the pot and once you got your salsa all blended out now you're gonna put the meat in there like I said we are making a lot so no worries if you're making a smaller batch it doesn't need to be all this much and now, the sauce that we just made goes right into it. And yes, the meat should float in this one a little bit at least. So that's what it should look like. And to this, the last thing that we add is gonna be the bay leaf. All right, so now that everything's in the pot, now is where you wanna add the bay leaf. Don't worry if you get a little piece, it ain't gonna hurt you none to eat it. But this gives it a little extra flavor. And uh, I believe it's about six bay leaves to every pound. 
Of meat. Of meat, sorry. It's about that much for us. Now that it's all in your pot, you wanna take and you wanna mix it all around. Make sure everything gets separated. The meat, you wanna make sure the meat separates from itself. And then you wanna make sure the baby goes into the juice. And now all you gotta do at this point is sit it to boil. And you're gonna want it to come back up to a rolling boil. And make sure everything gets uh, super hot, super cooked. And we'll get back to you as soon as it's ready. So as you can see, the pot is now at a running boil. So now you're gonna turn it down and just let it simmer for another, at least another 20 minutes. 20, two to three hours. Or sorry, two to three hours. Till the meat falls apart. It'll get really soft. So we're done cooking it. This is what it should come out looking like. And you're just gonna take it, put it on your bowl. It was steamy. That just means it's hot. You tell me when, honey, is it your bowl? That's good. That's good, okay. And then from here, all you do, you add your onion and cilantro that we chopped up earlier today. And you made some of your salsa, red salsa? Yep. And I'll just link that to the video. You can put that on there too. Man, enjoy, honey. <laughs> what's, what's it taste like, honey? Tastes like Mexican. Is it good? Oh, yeah, of course. I just didn't put your hot sauce on it. She says it's too hot. But that one is. I doubt it. Oh.